Would you spend $400 to drill a hole in this bolt? This is the world's greatest safety wire drill jig. Let me tell you a story, take you back 27 years. I was working as a new product engineer for a company called Yoshimura, which was American Suzuki's motorcycle road racing team. I was designing exhaust systems and rear sets and triple clamps and all that cool, fun racing stuff. But I had uh, accepted a new job back on the East Coast and I had a machine shop in my garage and I was prepping motorcycles at an amateur level for road racing. And I was drilling a lot of fasteners for safety wires so they would pass uh, tech inspection at the racetracks. So uh, I was taking a lot of nuts and bolts and drilling holes in them for safety wire. And I needed a way to do that effectively because, well, most folks can't afford to go out and repurchase all the fasteners on their motorcycle that are pre-drilled for a safety wire. Uh, so I came up with this. And uh, as a safety wire drill jig, it works awesome. As a new product to revolutionize that industry, it was a complete failure. So first let me show you how it works, then stick around I'll tell you why it was a failure. And I have something special at the very end of the video for you also. So let me show you how this drill jig works. The safety wire drill jig works on a V-block principle. The sexy side is where you can drill across the point of a fastener. So the way it works is just like a vise. So let's say you need to drill a safety wire hole across the point of a flange head nut. You put it right in that V-block right there and you clamp it down. I took out the screw here for clarification, but basically you tighten it down and it clamps it down tight. And once it's clamped in place, you can take it to your drill press or hand drill and drill right across the point there. On the other side, same principle, but it drills across the flat. Let's say you want to drill a hole all the way through the head of this. So same exact principle. It's a V block. You clamp it in place. You put it into your drill press and you drill right across the head of it. There is another V-block in here. You can see it right there. This is if you want to drill anywhere along the shaft of a round part. So you can see you can put it in here and you clamp it down and you can drill anywhere you want on that shaft. Of course, it doesn't have to be a hex head. Let's say you need to uh, drill a socket head cap screw. A round head will actually be drilled the same way. And uh, you can do the same thing with large fasteners. So let's say you've got yourself a nice humongous fastener you want to drill across the flat or across the point, just like that. So, uh, so it's a very simple concept, but it's also very expensive. So let me show you the cost breakdown of why this product is really unmarketable. So why in the world does this safety wire drill jig cost so much? Let's go through a real quick cost breakdown sheet. A good shop rate for a good machine shop is $120 an hour. A good margin for any new product is going to be 50%. If you ever watch Shark Tank, they talk all about the margins. You got a 50% a is a good margin, 30% will keep you in business, but you're almost going to starve to death. Any less than that, it's not even worth doing it. So base metal costs about $2 for each of the pieces of metal to go in there. Now this is where it just bites. It's the drill bushings, hardened drill bushings, good high quality hardened drill bushings are $20 a piece. Then you have to take one of them and grind them at an angle. Then you got to buy the dowel pins or about $1.50 for good ones that are treated. Black oxide is $8 for that and then your assembly. So you're, you're right at $400 of retail cost for a safety wire drill jig. That is brutal for a product. It's not a high caliber torque wrench. It's a drill jig for putting some holes in some fasteners. So uh, let me show you what I have underneath my workbench. The shop's quiet right now so I can finish filming this video, but let me show you what is hiding underneath the workbench here. Tucked away in an old DeWalt box is 24 of the safety wire drill jigs. Yes, I ran a batch of these in my garage years ago thinking there's gotta be a market for these. 
there wasn't a market for those. So uh, either that or I'm just really uh, a bad uh, marketer. And um, that was a long time ago too. So here's the bonus feature. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, obviously you're interested in drilling holes and fasteners. Maybe you need a safety wire drill jig. Let me know, put a comment down below and say, Rob, I need a safety wire drill jig. If I have enough of you guys respond, maybe I'll finish these things up, clean them up, get them operational, and you'll get some unobtainium. You'll get a non-existent product that uh, after the 24, that'll be it. I'm not making any more. And um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and put some comments down below. If, uh, if you want a safety wire drill jig, I'll, uh, I'll finish these off and uh, put them on the website for you. But uh, God bless. We'll see you on the next video. Bonus content. Yes. Look how sexy that is. Isn't that beautiful? Bam! This was prototype number one. You can see how that worked. Actually, uh, you set it right there to drill across there. And the length of that, they don't even make drill bushings that long, that small. So um, this was a prototype that uh, it worked, but it didn't work well. And so this was the design number two. So, uh, so there we go. Bonus content.